Oh, yeah, no, these are not my questions. Um, do you have any update on Jay, Jalen's status right now? No, no. Um, I'm still saying he's out watching practice today. So I don't have anything to do on right now. Is it fair to, because I mean, he made the trip to Stillwater, but doesn't make the trip to Ames, like, is it fair to read into that that things are going in the wrong direction? Or is just, what's the reason that he made oh, that drive and not, and not this one? Well, because, uh, yeah. If, uh, I think I've said is there's good days and there's not good days, okay? And um, last week wasn't a great week, so, you know. It, it, but he left in between there, though, that he went through warm-ups and dressed for Oklahoma. So it's just kind of uh, it's kind of where it's at, I guess. And I, I don't read anything more into the good days, bad days. And, and uh Today he's in my office at 6.30 in the morning, first guy in there, so it was for a meeting. So I, I, I kind of feel that there's there's days I feel really good and there's days I'm you know, disappointed like he is. So that's probably the best way to leave it. You had Owen do the rest of the kicking after Seth Smith's early. How do you plan to approach the kicking game this yeah, game? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, we're going to continue to use both. I think Owen has earned some opportunities. I think there's things uh, obviously with distance. And leg strength on the longer kicks, um, so we'll continue to look through that through the week to decide we'll handle extra points and will we do a short and long field goal situation. Um, so it, it, I, I can see our, I can see us using both. How do you prepare your your holders and long snappers well for that kind of week? You know, because it's different. Well, it's more the the, the holder that's got the issue. The the, the the long snapper's got to do the same. It's got to get to the same spot, okay? But the, the guy who's really done a nice job is Gray Madison because he's holding for both guys and and to switch. And I think some of the times that's, you know, um, probably more on myself than definitely Gray. And is that when we've had a miscue there is asking them to maybe switch it up mid-game. But now I'm getting a lot of work and um, confident that with our special team staff that as the ball's moving closer towards uh, midfield that, um, you know, Luke Osford is in, and uh, Gray are getting snaps on both sides as the kickers are kicking into the net. With Seth, has anything changed with him? It seemed like early in the season you know, he was pretty he's, accurate and it's kind of slipped now. Yeah, it's, I don't know, kicking can be like our golf game, right? Those of you that have one, I don't. Um, it, you know, you're hitting a few really well and then all of a sudden, or, you know, it's, um, or, or in baseball, you know, you can be you can be hot and be on a streak, and then all of a sudden, you, you, you know, you can't put the ball in play. I don't want to say he's at that point, but you know, he's he's battled uh, you know a couple things um, health wise. That nothing major, but there's times we've had to reduce his work and do some things, and sometimes you compensate, and, and um, but. Uh, He's a very mature young man, and uh, I know he continues to work hard. And, and though we're all disappointed, we want to want to make sure we can clean that up. But you're right, because we talked about how much improvement we've made there, and now all of a sudden we've kind of hit a little bit of a rut. So I didn't see Tommy or Trevor there, and I don't think yeah, Devin played too much. They were not on the trip. The their status for this week is um, it long term. Yeah, it, it's still pretty. Early. I I would, you know. Um, both progressing. I don't. I don't know if you had to ask me at this point. I don't. I, I don't know if they'll be available. Okay. And for you guys at home, I think it's nine and two since the start of last season. What's allowed you guys to be so um, consistent? I think at home. Well, our crowd. Uh, I think the environment, routine, but our, definitely our crowd has, has made a big impact. Um, you know, and uh, you know, hopefully again we can we, we can fill the place enough to make it a, an environment. You know, we. We know what that's done for us here and in some of those games. Um, you can feel it when you go on the road to some of those other places, what, what you're battling. And um, I think that was one of the things about Saturday's game. When they reviewed that in the first third down and, and forced them into punting, and then for us to go down and score, I think we never really let that crowd get into the game the first half. And, and, uh, and I think our crowd can do the same thing. I, I would like to say that our guys have continued to build a, a routine and confidence in, in playing, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's always easier to go into your own home environment than on the road.
Lance, you guys didn't have Devin Phillips or Tommy Dunn, but the defensive yeah. line guys stepped up. What did you, what did you see from them? Yeah, I mean, being down those two guys, you know, was a lot. And, uh, you know, again, uh, probably the guy that really, I mean, DJ Withers continues to, to play well and, and uh, gain confidence, plays faster, um, all those things as he continues to develop. But Caleb Taylor was probably the one. Gage Keys played his most football as a Jayhawk, probably his most football in one game, maybe in his college career. I thought he did he did well, even though he had the, the, the penalty, um, you know, which is close. But uh, yeah, Caleb Taylor um, and then Keenan Caldwell got the reps as well. You know, we usually are close to a rotate six and really only rotated four. Now, both teams' pace of play. Things like that really helped us in a game like that. Both teams under 60 snaps. What are your initial thoughts on Texas Tech? Again, that's a team that um, many picked to be a dark horse uh, title contender. And so it's a very talented football team. They didn't got the start they wanted, lost some close games, had some injuries. They're starting to get healthy in a lot of spots. Um, you know, lost, we're down two quarterbacks at one time. You, got, you know, Martin's back. Uh, you know, you could see them. You know, they're getting, they got extra days prep and rest for this game. Um, they're they're coming in with something to play uh, to make sure they're you know working towards the bowl eligibility. A lot of things. Jordan McGuire does a great job there. He's he, he's put an attitude and energy into that program, and uh, you know they. <clears throat> Probably you always think about them spreading out, throwing the ball and stuff, but they're running the ball so well. Though you know, I think you know we'll hit all the leading rushers in this conference here in a short period of time. Um, and uh, a good football team, great length at the at the end positions defensively. I think they've got um, you know overall a very physical defense that that continues to come through. But again, their injuries and, and probably stubbed some of the. the you know, stunned some of the growth that they wanted to have this year, but I know they they're they're playing stronger on this back half. Do you see the same sort of you know added comfort with the, with the new coaching staff just having more time uh, with that program? What you see maybe with Oklahoma and others? Say that again, please. I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you see the same sort of comfort in like year two with that coaching staff as we've seen with other? Programs? Yeah, I mean, I, I you know I know obviously Emma Jones is with us left that staff. Um, I'm not sure what other turnovers have, but yeah, anytime you can have another year of uh, a routine and players and and uh, um, system and all that, it's it's always uh, you're you're able to move more fluidly in your day to day operation. Um, players know what to expect, all those things. So, so yeah, I would, I would not be in there. You know, it's one of those schools we didn't really cross over a lot early with film. Uh, on certain games, so really a lot of our, at least what I've been watching is, is first time through here yet, and I'm not through it all yet. I don't think we asked you about Melo, at least it's any yeah. update on Melo so. Yeah, you know, Melo's um, doing better, obviously. Uh, again, game status, I, I don't know if it's, you know, if you asked me today, anybody like that that was out, they're probably still out, and uh, you know, hopefully we can progress, but uh, he's, uh, Doing a lot better than than even anticipated off towards even before we left the stadium. Last week you had you had the message to the guys of wanting to string together two good performances in a row, and it seems like that resonated pretty well. What's your message heading into a game like this? Where about three in a row? <laughs> <laughs> um, again, it's uh, yeah to continue to play well and keep the pedal down, and and and, and we. You know, uh, we, we talk about it often, uh, whichever side we end up on after Saturdays is the margin of error is small, okay? The margin of difference between winning and losing in, in this conference is, is getting closer every week, as you can see. And it, you can't get into comparative scores, you can't depend on what's there, you don't know, and you've got to prepare that way. So, you know, we talk about we're in the fourth quarter of the season, so to speak, in the last three games. And, and how do we want this to finish? And we talked about it our first year, and we'll talk about it uh, now. Is um, Let's go back to 21. The last three games of the 21 season, I feel, put this program on a better track. Okay, what's the last three games of this season going to do for this program? Because we can continue on this path of, of, of making steady progress, 
or it'll be one that'll be disappointed. Last year, we didn't finish as strong as we wanted to, okay? So we've got to find a way to do that. We're looking at different ways that at this time of the season to keep them fresh, um, get them their rest, do the things that we can, but we still have work to be done. But I think we're getting them to understand all those little things. And, and, and that's, and, and really it's simply, let's put three together and then let's, let, let's also make sure that we're talking about some, some really exciting things about how this team finished up. This ties into that a little bit. It, your first meeting with, with your team here um, out on that field when, when you said, mm -hmm. you know, we will win, uh, it's been pretty popular to keep getting played as you guys keep progressing and, and, and making a name for yourselves. I wonder what, do you know, did, what did you mean when you said that? Did, did you have a feel for what that meant when you were telling those guys that? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's, it's a, like you say, every week we come into this meeting or this conference and we talk about something I probably didn't know before, mm -hmm. and and maybe a little bit more of the history and the and, and the struggles that that maybe we've been through. Um, but I wanted them to know that there would be some things that happened, and I was confident that we'd find ways to win games. When and how soon, I did not say that. And um, but uh, again. Uh, I believe in what we do and, and how we go about it. And um, just like these, there probably sometimes gets very redundant and boring, but at the same time, those are things that I think when you do on a daily basis and you ask your players to do it, they become great habits. And there's things that'll help us get, get to where we wanna be. And I think it has so far. So, um, you know, I think I counted and that's not even that group that was there. I think we have 40, 46 players in this program that were um, committed or given opportunities here before we arrived in right. three years in. I, I think for college football standards, that's that's pretty decent. And we and what it was, it, it was going to be our approach. You're going to have a chance to prove yourself here. You're going to see if it if it fits, you know, you fit us, you, we fit you, whatever that may be, but this is the way we're gonna go about it. We kept the signees of that class and, and, and we've been able to, to mold the program and, and within the philosophies of what we wanna do. So I don't know about everything I said, and, and you know, because that's tough. Uh, you go back to those days, let's face it, they, they got a coaching staff that just finished practice with them. They're coming off, they have no idea what's going on. And uh, you know you're trying to give them some, some you know, settle that that there's going to be some brighter days ahead. But um, you know, did, did did you get any indication from anybody shortly thereafter or even that day that hey, that was pretty profound those words. I mean, no. I forgot. Mellow Dotson said something to me one time about he knew. He knew it was going to be different than it was going to be serious. I, I forgot, you'd have to ask Mel. Sure, I don't sure. want to quote him. But. And, and then, just, just real quick, too, the, the, what, the mentality you, you talked about the last quarter of the season and all that stuff, but you guys are a game out of first in the Big 12. Is there yeah. a different mentality that, that comes with that position? And, sure. and how do you address that? Yeah, there's a lot of ways to look at that, Matt. I, I said, I, I kind of glanced at it. and, and um, we talked about it that we talked about playing those type of games and, and you and here we are and you know and you know Friday night at the hotel you know, you start you know, you keep playing wild winning games you're, you're talking about playing for a championship and I was kind of like joking I go can you believe two years ago that we'd even be saying that mm -hmm. but that's how this group has worked and developed and, and, and the great job the, the assistant coaches have done um, then you look at those standings and our two losses are the two teams above us. So it's not like now we got to make sure we maintain and, and play well. So um, I think they understand that's a nice thing. We've had enough players now that play a lot of football here. They're, they're grasping. It's not like it's, um, you know, a, a, a totally young team and you know, team. We, have, we have enough experience in so many different ways. And that's what, that's kind of been neat. And, and, and again, for, for our staff, that's, that's what's fun about building and maintaining programs is when you watch it happen and you see them kind of leading the way through.
They have a, a young quarterback that kind of took over after uh, four weeks of uh, the starting program you've heard. What have you kind of seen uh, from him on film, and, and is there any parallels with uh, Jason? Kind of play? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he's one of the higher rated quarterbacks, I think, in, the, in, in their class or, or what they've been able to bring in there at Texas Tech, and they have quite quite a history of having some talented guys, I think, uh, from what you said. So, uh, um, you know, again, somebody that can – Run their offense and and make things happen. I you know I don't get into comparisons yet about uh, um, um, you know with Jason or anything. I, like I said, I'm I'm just getting to watch the you know I watch the game some on Thursday night. I'm watch I watched it again this morning. I went back and was watching the Wyoming game when they started lost in double overtime and so kind of mixing um, and, and going through both sides. So it's kind of a, a lot there. Um, but I know this, they're, they're very multiple of what they do. They can play fast at one time. I think they're playing, you know, they're gonna snap the ball and you know, within 20 seconds, probably 99% of the time. So we better get lined up. This is similar stuff we talked about against Oklahoma. You gotta get lined up, gotta get the call, get your feet in the ground, and get, gotta communicate well. And of course, then you gotta get around the football and tackle ball. Anything else, Coach? Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.